everyone, we are here to play this amazing game called Game of Thrones, a Telltale game series. And I think the game is tad loud, so I'm just gonna bring it down a notch. It didn't affect any way, did it? Well, I hope it's not that loud. <sighs> I'm playing on my lovely controller. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, if I look tired, that it is because I am. I had my first day at work today and I need to leave there by 8 a.m. with a bus and I get home every day 8 p.m. So I'm like round the clock away from home. So I'm it's the first day, I'm not used to this, so I'm really, really tired. But still, this game come out, came out the next episode, so I need to play it. I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the wall. By the way, guys, last time I did not watch the um, TV series, but I actually watched every freaking season in four days. And I really like the series. Now I know all of the characters, all what they've done and not done. And yes, that is really good because now I know a lot more stuff. Oh God. Oh God. God. I'm gonna start. Doom. Previously on Game of Thrones. Yep. These are dark days, I fear. The North Grove must never be lost. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Duncan. I've decided to name you as my sentinel. I'm just worried about my family. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. Are you willing to risk an alliance with the crown? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Rashid. We don't want White Hill men within these walls. You can be my highborn ward. My lord, if you want a hostage, take me. Uh, uh, Ethan. Uh, no! Don't let them take uh, me! Uh, 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 Did it seem kind of crappy to you? Like it was cut in really bad positions. Just me, Besker. Took you long enough. The rail's getting warm. Or warmer, I should say. Ooh, what's this? Why? You can stop pacing. They'll be here soon. It's chaos out there since the masters fled. What's this? This stuff is weak compared to Northern Ale. Ooh, so I'm a northern guy. Well, I actually This look... place could use a good cleaning. I complained to the owner. Except he's probably dead. Is that wine? Or blood? Taste it and find out. No, thank you. Ooh, a skylight. This place probably used to be nice. Nice having a place to ourselves, though. Ooh, it's a hookah! 
Oh, let's take that. Nice. More weapons. Damage. Looks like we weren't the first to rough up the place. Hookah! Fragrant. Anything in here? Nope. Let's look at her. I know, I know. Woman sell sword. Four years fighting by your side and you still can't get over it. Come on, Asha. Quit staring. Let's get drinking. Oh, now I just realized who this guy was. <laughs> Goes in yellow, comes out yellow. Waste time even drinking it, if you ask me. Considering we found it in an abandoned tavern, it's not bad. They smell off to you. It's the only thing in Yunkai that doesn't. I know. It's a filthy haven for thieves, murderers, and other deadly bastards. You should feel right at home. I know I do. May we drink, thieve, and fight until the end. I'll drink to that. <laughs> You'll drink to anything. <laughs> Another round? My butt. My butt, butt, my butt. I am handsome. Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? Go see if he's still breathing. Ugh. How's he doing? <laughs> We need him alive to collect his bounty. After that... Remind me again, what's this fat pig fucker's name? Bazak Zog... Something or other. Don't care, really. So long as we get our gold. Eight hundred gold dragons for capturing him. Lucky we caught him trying to flee Yunkai. Lucky for us. Not so lucky for him. We should find more former slave masters with bounties on their heads. I don't need any more naked fat men in my life, thank you. No. <laughs> they say only the poor know how to really spend money. We'll buy the finest wines, the best whores. Sleep in a bed without fleas? Sounds nice, doesn't it? Who needs the best whores when the bad ones are so much more fun? I knew I liked you for a reason. My point is, with enough coin we could do anything. Go anywhere. I could afford passage back to Westeros. To Ironrath. I've heard nothing from my family in years. You mean go home? They treated you like shit there. Kicked you out because you fell in love with a girl from the wrong damn house. Gwyn. A man doesn't choose who he loves. Your family should understand that. Are you a girl or not? Westeros and its bloody houses. Who fucking cares? It's all an excuse to tell everyone else what to do. They're still my family. My brothers and sisters. They had nothing to do with it. I suppose that's true. Just remember, we have a good thing here. And any moment now, we're gonna be rich. You are definitely a girl. Let's make a toast. And you wanna get to horse. all of us deadly bastards. To us. Aye, to us. You're not that drunk, are you? Sorry. Ah, uh. oh, I did it after second try. I was too drunk. Beske, I thought freed slaves put the bounty on Bazak. They did, with his own gold. So why are the fucking Lost Legion here? Oh, is that Tazal? from the Volantis job. Maybe he's forgotten about that. You! I told you if I saw you again! Tazal! Isn't it funny how life brings all friends together? Now cut your fucking throats! Tavern's closed. What are you doing here? Where is he? Where's who? Here. Four hundred dragons. They must be working for the Wise Masters. And that's all you're getting. The 
bounty is 800. You get four. It's more than you deserve. Give us 800 and you can have him. Don't be an asshole now. We're all sell swords here. We are nothing like you. The Lost Legion are the blood of Onvalidia. And we are done taking orders from whimpering pigs. Bloody hell! And we're done with you, too. La da diri, Zombasi. Do ebi me. Calm down, Tizal. We can still work out a deal. You two are going to be useful to me for once. Not bloody likely. The wise masters will hear how Asha Forrester kidnapped the venerable Bezak. How he wouldn't take less than 800 gold dragons. So he killed Bezak instead. Me? Luckily, we were there to deliver swift justice. So you steal the money and we get the blame. Ponteos in us! Bojos me nomi jahosso kisikas! All right, who dies first? Who wants to dance at the end of the Kill them! Now! No one more life. Here's one! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> that was so bad. Fuck you. I. She couldn't pass me. To be that one. This reminds me of <laughs> that brothel in Norvos. You kill me, and the Lost Legion won't stop until you and your friend are dead. Way. We need to go. Come on. Malcolm. Damn. We have to keep moving. Malcolm, stop. Asher, I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been 
Far too long. What are you doing here? Your brother Ethan sent me. I'm here to bring you home. Copyrighted, copyrighted, copyrighted music! Episode 2, The Lost Lord. Is still alive. Damn foresters. Not to be so fucking far away. That's far enough. I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly types from the looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Ryland. You again. <laughs> what have you got this time? Some poor peasant dressed up like a I, lord. Uh, a stable boy in the clothes. You did this at Duskendale. And you have the fucking stones to try it again. No! This I... house has suffered the loss of many good men. And you dare come here claiming to have Forrester dead. They're Forrester! Look at the <sighs> colors! Fine, leave. <laughs> now! Fine! I'm dump them in the river then! <sighs> you come back here again, you won't be leaving. You got that? I, I heard you! That was a sheep fucker. <clears throat> I'm sorry, sir. I don't worry, sir. Seven <laughs> what is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there? Who are you? It's me, Roderick. Roderick? Roderick. By the gods, it is you! Sir? Fetch the maester! Hurry! Fetch the maester! Roderick! Is he gonna make it? Oh, no, 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 no. What? My lord, 
should not be awake. The, oh, oh, oh. the milk of the poppy. Drink. Come now. Oh. That's it. Roderick! My lady! No. I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. How is he? Will he live? Let her. <gasps> Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No. Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, he may never walk again. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. I didn't want him to suffer the pain. Is it? <laughs> Maestor Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. And your face. Oh, you tell me I don't look good. <laughs> I wouldn't dare. Roderick, there's something you need to know. Ethan oh. is dead. Ethan? Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan offered to go in my place. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan? How could this happen to him? We'll make Ramsay pay for what he did. I promise. Good. We're planning to honor Ethan in the Grove, alongside Father. And now Mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. <laughs> you can, Dahlia. I know you can. Chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. They need a lord. You're still a hero to them. If you lead, others will follow. I know you still need time to heal, but I'll be fine, Talia. Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. Only one way to find out. <sighs> oh, God. I missed you, brother. I missed you, too. You can do this, Roderick. I know you can. Uh, 
Patrick! I'm fine. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I was rolled in on a corpse can. The damage is done. But you're the lord of the house now. You must appear strong, solid. You can't do that on the floor. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. Please, Roderick. Thank you, Talia. Ready? That's it. <clears throat> Everyone will be so glad to see you up. Though, I think you'll find that much has changed. Oh, the wall! Are we gonna see Jon Snow with his puckered lips? Funny thing. I don't think that Jon Snow is that is that handsome. Like he has a great body, but meh. He looks so sad all the time. Like Castle Black. So this is the seat of the Night's Watch. The Wall. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Recruits at the gate. I really like the Kingslayer, how he looks. Even though he has done some things wrong, but still, Kingslayer is hot. Right, is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. Aye, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. Frostfinger, he's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. No, but I am a cuddly as a teddy bear. You fight like a girl. A wildling girl, maybe. What's in these barrels? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Why would I use it, though? Huh. It's warm. Hmm. Oh, now I know the finger thing. You recruits, you come, you train, you 
you fight, fight, you die. Who are you, boy? I was a squire. I served Lord Forrester of Ironrath. A squire from Ironrath. And how does a squire get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. Or do you just fancy dying someplace cold? I killed a man who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either, Gary. How do you know my name? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes, sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle, sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. Thanks. When it comes, try to make it quick. Thanks about that encouragement. <laughs> and last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart. <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he can still eat and shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again. <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Well, I say he's dead. And they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? And bring you some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> Had a run-in with Walder Frey, did you? And he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. Forrest's Real cursed. shame about your leg, oh, Lord. Give a toss. Don't let go of your sister now. I hopefully won't never have to let go of my sister, you motherfucker. We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> go round. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you are gonna make me. I wonder what's weaker, your legs, or this house? My men may be few, but they'll die before you keep me from my hall. Go on then, my lord. I am strong enough to <sighs> walk without you, strong enough. So I'll be banging these doors, be let me inside. I'm hurt. It's ridiculous. You're treating them like the guests. wine keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Roderick. 
My boy. Mummy. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good. <clears throat> it's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I told you he'd be up and about. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dahlia's told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lord, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsey stole them. I've told you. I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead, and Ryan a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. Because we have no army. Silence! I am your lord. You're here to give counsel, not to quarrel at my table. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves. And we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. If we don't have one. Not anymore. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. Halsey's Helliver, Grayson and Brownbarrow were all slaughtered at the Twins. And the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! He's barely recovered. I'm not ready. My son, I understand your doubts, but if she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. Dahlia does have a point. The man I used to be. You can still make her happy, Roderick. <whistles> and she can do the same for you. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Let them go hungry. Yes, my lord. Now. There's nothing more to discuss. I, I, I had no clue Please, what sir. to pick. It's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. Thank it's you. Good to be back. Ooh, there is some fancy flame. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him. And Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang all the dogs in the kennel started howling. <laughs> Thank you. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help.
I think we're heading off to Mira. Yup. Guys, I'll end this episode in here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I really like this game. And I really like the uh, Game of Thrones series. So, I mean, it's good to be back. It's a tough game with all of the decisions. But one thing is good. You don't need to see me play this game badly if you don't want. You can go and play this game as the way you want it to be. So this is only for you to see my point of view or my bad decisions. But either way, it's something different you haven't seen. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all of the love and support. Keep warm and hug someone. Bye bye. My arms hurt. <laughs> Shoo! Shoo! Because love's not big enough